So I have another new topper to share with you today and it is by Uniwigs. Um, so this is the upgraded Courtney and in a colour that is brand new to their collection called the Cali Blonde which has a code of 660R. Um, so if you want to find out a bit more about it then stay tuned and I'll go through all of the details with you. So this is the brand new topper that I have been sent by Uniwigs and the upgraded Courtney I've tried a number of times before um, but this time I have it in a very different colour and this is the Cali Blonde which is 660R in code. Um, I have been searching for a blonde with Uniwigs for a while now and I've tried a few. So I've tried um, Vanilla Butter Blonde which I love, that's probably my favourite before this. Um, and then I tried Dusty Ash Brown, which does have a lot of blonde to it, um, but I have recently had blonde highlights added to my natural hair. So the Dusty Ash Brown doesn't really um, doesn't really blend very well with my hair anymore. Um, I've also tried the Creamy Ice, which is a new colour. Um, and I've also tried Vanilla Butter Blonde Unrooted as well. So um, I've tried the rooted and the unrooted version. This is... Um, as I say, the Cali Blonde and um, it is a really stunning colour. So let me try and show you what it's like. So it has a root um, and I am a big fan of roots. I love a topper with a root. I think it looks more natural when you're wearing it. So you can see it's got a sort of a medium blonde root. Um, and then all the way through the lengths, there are I guess it's quite a warmish colour, but not too warm. It doesn't look yellow. Um, these beautiful light blonde highlights and then these slightly more wheat blonde um, colours that run through the lengths. It's really, really beautiful. I love it. Um, so it because I've had my hair lightened um, this is going to blend or it does blend really well I've already tried it but I'll show you um, let's have a quick look at the base so even though I've shown you Courtney before I'll show you her again so the base on Uniwigs are probably one of my favorite bases for toppers they are really well made they're very sturdy but they're not thick and heavy they're very lightweight um, and they just feel secure on your head all the time. And if they don't feel secure enough, they do send you additional clips for you to clip in um, or to sew on. Um, so I've got two additional clips here that I can add if I want to. So on the base of Courtney, um, there is um, one, two, three, four, four pressure sensitive clips that you can use to secure it into your head. Um, there is closed wefting all the way around this section here. Um, and here there is a lace monofilament section as well. So you can part this topper any way you like in this section and it gives the appearance of natural growth from the root of your head. Um, the front here has a polyurethane strip. So if you do need to add any glue or tape, this is a perfect surface or material to add that glue or tape to. Um, and the size of the base is seven inches by eight inches. So this is a large base and it will provide really good coverage for those of you who have um, sort of moderate to maybe more severe kind of hair loss, particularly on this top section. Um, I really like this um, size base. I feel it gives a lot more volume to my thin hair. Um, and yeah, so the bigger the base, the more hair you're gonna have. Um, and so this, because this is a large base, there's a lot of hair, which is going to be great for me um, and my thinning, thinning hair. So um, let's get her on and see what she looks like on. So I always pull around the back, keep those clips closed, then open them whilst it's on my head. Make sure they are central. And then to push those clips so you can see it open here I'm going to push them into my hair at the front now because my hairline is working its way backwards there's not a lot of hair to clip onto here I may well add some tape or some glue onto that polyurethane strip just for security but I'm not going to do that right now and then I'm also going to clip in the back ones as well there we go 
feels very central on my head. Might just adjust that one a little bit. There we go. Okay, and there she is, she's on. That is how easy it is to apply a topper. It is literally clip, 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 go. Um, so aside from perhaps sort of styling your bio hair, um, there's not a lot really that you need to do. It's a really simple process. Um, and I love toppers, particularly in the summer months, because it's getting warmer here in the UK now. And I wore a wig all day yesterday and I was outside running an event and my head was baking under a full cap wig. So toppers for me are a real godsend in the summer months just because they are lighter weight. They're not covering my whole head. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a hat all day and I'm not sweating underneath. Like toppers are much more breathable. Um, so yeah, so I like wigs, I like toppers, but toppers I like more in the summer. So here she is, this is Cali Blonde and you can see the colour is gorgeous, perfect for summer, um, just stunning, really stunning. So as you can see, um, she's on, but she does need a little bit of work. I need to wake the fibres up a bit, sort the part line out. Um, the part is very straight at the moment um, and the fibres are quite um, flat, um, particularly at the roots, so I need to wake the fibres up. I'm also going to do a bit of styling as well because this has got box hair where she's been shipped, tightly, tightly wrapped up and shipped, so kind of all over the place at the moment. But um, she's a really good length. She's about a couple of inches, maybe just about a couple of inches longer than my own hair. So that's a really good length of a topper. It helps to blend well. There's not going to be a um, obvious line where my hair starts and this one is as well it's going to blend really well so um let's do all the things that i normally do to make this piece look a bit more realistic um, and make me feel more confident in it so i'm going to start by um spraying at the roots getting into the roots, lifting up the hair, getting lots of water in there. Back to. Okay, so the top section is thoroughly wet now um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some heat and try and lift those fibres up from the root, bring a bit of life into them. I'm going to add in the part that I want. Like to make it look a little bit um, 
less perfect. So a slightly jagged part line. I think that makes it look quite natural. It's, but that's everyone's preference. So you can hopefully see now that those fibres are now awake. Um, they are lifting from the topper um, and just look a bit more a bit more natural now, I think. Like bio hair would. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray just to hold those roots. I realise it doesn't look perfect yet, but it's a process. Um, just have to be a little bit patient, do a little bit of work with it, and then it will look like you want it to, make it your own. Okay, so I've got my straighteners on. Uh, I'm going to just kind of make the style a bit more even because it's quite kinked from where it was shipped. The hair, as always, feels amazing. Um, Nina Wig's hair quality is always lovely. Lovely and soft. Washes up really well. You can run your fingers through it. You can see that the upgraded Courtney has these um, pre-cut layers in it already, um, which I love because this is exactly what I would have done if I had to have it customised. And actually this takes out the need for having it customised because it's already in the style that I love with these beautiful face framing layers along the front. Really nice. And there are some slightly short, shorter layers um, around the top section as well the way around so the um the length that i have this in is 14 inches there we go and um, 14 inches is a perfect length for me actually um and though although um you might measure your hair and find that it actually is maybe about 14 15 inches and think you might need to go for a 16 inch um but actually i've been told by uni wigs that their toppers tend to be a little bit larger than what they're or a little bit longer than what they're advertised as so my hair is around about 15 um 14 15 inches this is a 14 inch topper but as you can see my own hair is actually still slightly shorter than the topper itself so there's a little bit of extra room for growth which is perfect which means that as I grow my hair um, this is I'm not going to outgrow this quickly my hair grows really really slowly so this is going to be used I can use this for a long time so there we go there she is now kind of straightened out a little bit more even I'm gonna grab my hairbrush I'm just going to put my brush through the topper and my own hair to blend those fibres together. Like so. And you can see my hair is still a little bit darker than this particular colour, but actually I still believe that this works really well for me. It's not hugely different it's not majorly obvious um it's just darker underside of hair which a lot of people have if you have highlights done um i think it i think it blends really beautifully and and looks really natural so i'm so pleased with this one this is now my new favorite blonde cali blonde is now my new favorite blonde it's got a root it's a stunning light blonde perfect for summer 
um, and I am really excited to wear this. Uh, the, and sadly, the, the first place I'm going to wear this is the school run this afternoon. Nothing exciting, but I'm still very excited to wear this out of the house today. Um, let me show you what she looks like all the way around. Um, over there you can see those, just from the front you can see those face framing layers. And then from the side. Now, if it looked a little bit kinked at the back, I might not have might not have straightened it properly at the back because I have done I did do it quite quickly and I couldn't see um, if I got to all those kinked parts. But easy enough to do. Um, you can just take it off, pop it on a mannequin head, and then straighten it out so that you know the back is also as straight as the front. Um, my daughter does this all the time. Bless her. She's thirteen. She goes to school, and the front and the sides of her hair look perfectly straight. And then the back section is always um, is always kinked and messy um, because I think she just can't can't always get to it. When it's bio hair on your head, you can't always get to that hair. The great thing about toppers and wigs is that you can take it off and you can style it off of your head. I mean, I'm I'm quite happy with this as it is, but if I was being really particular or going on a night out. I would probably check that the back was just as straight by popping it on a mannequin head. So there we go, she's on um, and she's styled, the roots are lifting and I just think that when you first take a topper out of the box it doesn't, it's not going to look perfect, it does need a little bit of work. So I'm just going to finish up by popping a bit of spray on. Um, and ordinarily I wear my hair down just because I think you've got this beautiful hair um, and you want to show it off but actually it's really easy to style as well if you want to so um, I mean generally I would just go with something just like a ponytail so the nice thing about this is that there are those layers at the front so when you pull it back you get this sort of you get these bits that drop which is nice pop it in a ponytail like this um could go for a half up half down i just want to cover my sort of my very thin bits here so i would probably pull a little bit of the top of hair down first so this is quite nice for summer just to be able to pull kind of half of it half of it back and make sure that I'm still covering my bio hair so I can probably only take a little bit of it from the top um, just because my hair is so thin at the front. But that would be cute, like this. Just pop a little claw clip in there, or um, a hair, a hair tie, that would look nice. Um, and you can add curls in, you can, you can um, take your curling tongs to it and curl it. Um, really you can do whatever you want to it. I mean you could put a plait in it as well. I'm terrible at doing plaits on myself. I can do them on everybody else but I can't do them on me. But you could pop you could put plaits in, you could put um go for bunches, which I'm probably a little bit too old for now. But you could have little two little ponytails either side. Like so. Yeah, so really versatile um and very natural looking and I love this piece and it is the upgraded Courtney um, which is a 7x8 base it's human hair this is the Cali Blonde in 660R um, and if you want a discount on any orders with Uniwigs then you can use my discount code which is Lucy15 I'll pop it in the comments below and um, yeah run don't walk go and get it right now